What's up everybody, Tim Vicks here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that photo number which you need for Titre de Sejour or Residence Permit Renewal or even for your passport or any official purpose for that matter. Let's get right into it. The process of getting a photo number is not that complicated. But when you're new to a place and you don't speak the language, it could feel a little bit overwhelming. And that's where I step in to help you guys out because I've been through this process and trust me, it's quite simple. So when you come to France with your student visa, your visa is valid for one year. So as soon as you land in France, you need to register your visa online. And once you register, your student status gets activated. But after one year, you need to renew your residence permit or the thesis is sejour. And to be on the safe side, start this process three months before the date of expiry. Now the process of renewing your residence permit is not that complicated either. Uh, it's an online process and you have a list of documents that you need to upload and you fill the online form and send it. And that's pretty much it. But here's the thing, when you're filling the form, they'll ask you for a photo number. Now normally, I always have a soft copy of the photo in my PC and I've always uploaded my photo as an attachment but never given a photo number. But here in France for the residence permit and also for some of the official documents, they ask you for a photo number. Now they do this because they want to ensure that the photo that you're uploading is the most recent one and also for some security reasons. And here's how you get that photo number. I personally prefer to get the photo clicked at Photo Metro. It's a photo booth which you can find in any metro station or big malls. I recently found that there are a few mobile applications as well which give you the photo number but to be honest I prefer the photo booth because it's tried and tested. So I'm gonna show you how to select the right options to get your photo for the residence permit or the Tita de Sejour. You have an option to change the language and once you do that you get two options one for passports and official documents and the other one for fun. For this purpose of Tita de Sejour, we go with option 1. Once again, you get two options, passport photo for visa, carte vitale, etc. or e-photo for residence permit and driving license. There is a possibility of getting confused here but you can see the pictures and for the Tita de Sejour, it is always e-photo. In the next step, you can once again confirm and select the residence permit option. Then you receive the on-screen instructions which are pretty straightforward. You can read them and click on OK. It takes some time for the camera to get prepared, so just be patient. And then you get the options to manually adjust the camera. Once you're happy with your beautiful face, capture the photo, write your signature on the screen and make the payment. Normally they charge 8 euros for this. Card and cash both are accepted, but remember the machine does not give you back any change, so be careful. Important thing to remember is that the photo comes outside the booth and not inside. So don't keep waiting inside like me and wondering where the heck is your photo. And that's how you get the photo number.